Hey everyone, so today's um, makeup tutorial is on this look. It is that old Hollywood um, Marilyn Monroe kind of look. It's not something that I would typically wear. I normally do very dramatic eyes and um, nude lips, but I figured that this is a very fun type of look and it's also a nice look if you're wearing it around the holiday time like Christmas and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the tutorial. I'm using NYX's eyeshadow base and skin tone and I'm going to apply this all the way from lid to brow and underneath the lower lash line as well. This is going to help the shadows be much more pigmented, vibrant and also stay in place throughout the day. Then I'm using my W7 Paint Box palette because they are all matte shades and that's what you want for this look. I'm going to take a nice light brown colour on a flat shader brush. And I'm going to apply this right in the crease and a little bit above. I'm using this as a transition colour because it'll make blending your other shadows that you put on, it'll make it much more easier to blend. Then I'm using another um, kind of ivory shade but it's not shimmery at all and I'm using that on a flat shader brush. And I'm going to apply this directly on my lid. You don't want to use shimmery shades for this look because old Hollywood kind of makeup is very matte. Then I'm using a medium toned brown eyeshadow on a crease brush. This is an e.l.f. eye blending brush. And I'm going to apply this right in the crease and shape your eyes a little bit. But you want to have a very light hand when you're doing this. Just because um, with this look you don't want your eyeshadows to be the main focus. It's mainly your eyeliner and your lips. So just do this very lightly and blend it in as much as you can. Then I'm going to take a darker um, brown shadow on another flat shader brush and I'm going to apply this directly on the outer part of my crease. I normally would do it um, on the outer parts of my lid as well but not for this look because like I said you don't want it to be dramatic. So just on the outer part of the crease. Then take your crease brush again with no extra, extra product and just blend in between those two colours. Then I'm going back in with a little bit more of the lid shade in case we blended any of the intensity out from that. Then I'm going to take a lighter ivory shade and I'm going to use this on a um, angled brush. And I'm going to apply this on my brow bone and I'm going to blend it a little bit into the um, crease colours as well. That's what you see me doing there. Then I'm going to take the Maybelline Eye Studio Lasting Gel Liner. My colour is black and I'm using that on a small um, angled eye brush and I'm just going to apply my eyeliner with this. This is one of the most important steps in this look um, because the old Hollywood look it's all about the eyeliner and the lips so this is how I would typically do my eyeliner anyway. I'm just doing it a little bit more defined and being really careful with it and doing a nice crisp outer tail. If you do want to see how I apply my eyeliner please let me know. Then I'm just going to use my hands to wipe away any fallout from underneath my eyes before we go in with our foundation. And the foundation I'm using is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. My shade is W4 and I'm using a kabuki brush with that. And I'm just going to apply my foundation. This is just a really full coverage but very lightweight foundation and I love it. And don't forget to blend this all the way down your jawline, your neck and your ears as well. And then I'm using the e.l.f. Under Eye Concealer and Highlighter Geo. I'm using the highlighter first and I'm going to apply this right underneath my eyes and blend it out with my fingers. This is just going to brighten up your face a little bit. Then I'm going to use the concealer side that comes with this duo and apply that underneath my eyes as well and use my fingers again to blend it out. This is going to cover up any dark circles and bags under there. Then I'm using the Revlon Colorstay Aqua. This is a pressed, sorry, a mineral powder on a Kabuki brush again. And I'm just using this to set my foundation so I don't get oily throughout the day. Then I'm using the Rimmel Brow Pencil. My color is black brown. And I'm using this to fill in my brows and really define them, especially the tails of my brows. Then I'm using the brush that comes with this brow pencil and just brushing my brows out. Then I'm going to use this really inexpensive eyeliner. The brand is Impy and it's a white eyeliner. I'm using this on my waterline just because it opens up your eyes and makes it look much bigger. Then I'm going to use the Maybelline Fall Seas Mascara and I'm going to apply two coats of that to my top lashes and just apply a very slight amount to your bottom lashes. The, um, your under eye 
place and your lash line on your lower lash line should not be touched just do a very very little bit of mascara and that in the eye pencil that's all you need down there then I'm using the modest prefer bronzer the color sunkissed and I'm using that on a powder brush and I'm not really going to contour to an extreme I'm just going to warm up my cheekbones a little bit just so they're a little bit more prominent and also warm up your temples and your forehead I'm not really going back in with much product as you see I'm just working with whatever's left on my brush then I'm using this really inexpensive blush palette it's a brand chameleon and I'm using a nice peachy toned it's a very natural color on a blush on a uh, angled blush brush and I'm just gonna apply my blush with this I didn't want to do pink because the old Hollywood um, makeup is not really pink cheeks it's very coral and peachy then I'm using the Revlon Colorstay Mineral Finishing Powder in 010 on another um, powder brush and I'm going to highlight the bridge of my nose, my chin, the inner parts of my forehead and um, my cheekbones as well. You can see my cat, she's admiring how I'm doing my makeup in the background and I'm also going to take a little bit of this highlighter and put it on my cupid's bow as well. Then I'm going to take the Designer Brands Lip Pencil in Fire Red and I'm going to line my lips with this again another very important step in achieving this makeup look so I'm not really out drawing my lips I'm just following the natural shape and um, the fullness of my lips and then I'm just going to fill in my lips with that lip pencil just a little bit and then just smacking my lips together to get from the top from the bottom to the top then I'm using the prestige lipstick in the color stop it's just a really nice blood red color and I'm gonna apply my lipstick with this and that's the final look I hope you guys enjoyed it please like comment and subscribe and thank you so much for watching bye guys